Hey guys, good morning, it's name, and today, Samari Sunshine is the game. Last time we went to Noki Bay, and we got things started, I think? I, I think we also went to Serena Beach, is that what we did in the last episode? Yeah, that is what we did last episode, because it was a pain in the butt to edit, I do remember now. This time, we're gonna be going back to Noki Bay, but only to Noki Bay, fortunately for me and my uh, responsibilities of editing. Noki Bay, episode 6, The Shell Secret, and did I lie? Actually, no, last time we only went to... Uh, Milky Bay. Never mind, I was lying. Oops. Shell secret. And actually... Did I practice this? Hold up, wait one second. Okay, I am back and I definitely did not practice this, but I do not have the time. So... Ooh, okay, well this is kind of, this is going to be my first time playing these missions in a very long time, so I do apologize for the errors that are going to occur. Master Mario, you've become tied to our destiny, I'm afraid. A pathway to another world is open above our fair land. Surely we'll go there. Of course you must go there. I apologize for involving you in all this. Good luck. We'll cheer you on from here. Farewell. From another world. Okay, well, thank you, old man or grandpa or whatever it is that we should call you. I greatly appreciate your sympathy. <laughs> okay, let's not fall on down. Yeah, I normally practice this before, before every single um, bit, and I thought that I'd practice these next few episodes, but I have not. Um, you have to climb up the ropes to climb up there, I'm afraid. Alright, that's fine. Watch out for the electric... The electric traps, are they called? They're, they're called something else. Name one up on the screen right now. Uh, I do apologize, but... Um... Let me see what there is a comment about. Uh, there are wind spirits around here. Do be careful. You're just gonna want to make your way up here. I believe it's... Yeah, I'm gonna spin jump on over here, and then we're gonna climb up on that way. Um, if you fall, it's pretty easy to climb back up. You can actually get up here very quickly, but like I said, I, had, I haven't practiced, so... Oops! My bad. The college has been very... different. It's been hard to adjust. It's been interesting. Uh, not bad, but... I don't know. It, it's, it's really weird recording here, so... Still haven't gotten used to that, sadly, but it's only been three... This is the third, the third episode since I got here, so I guess that's not too terrible, but... Oh well. Now, this secret mission's definitely a difficult one. Um, one of my favorite ones, at, I mean, at the very least, but difficult nonetheless. So, let's get started. Make sure right off the bat that you don't over jump out, <laughs> out into space, because that would be bad, and that is very possible for you to do. I believe one of these right over here has a one up, but I cannot remember. Um, it's probably not worth the risk of me jumping around, because if I get one more death, my goal is over trying to not get over 10 deaths. So, okay, nothing. Nothing that, no fruits of my labor, I guess, is what I was trying to say. Um, but everything's going really well here, I would say. Um, my classes aren't as difficult as I thought they might be. There's just a lot of reading, but that's okay, really, because I find that doing my readings, um, it's kind of like late at night. Well, not like late, late at night, but, you know, at the end of the day, when I have nothing else, um, that I need to do, doing them before I go to bed works really well for me, because I have morning classes every single day. I have an 8.30 every single day, which... Most people don't like, um, but I'm one of those weird people that do, <laughs> because it means that I get to have this consistent sleep schedule that I can stick to no matter what, and that's all I really care about, because um, sleep, sleeping is really important if you think about it, but what you're going to want to do is just sidekick off the wall right there, that's a good way, also spin jumps are nice, but you just got to time them well, just like everything else I guess in platforming, <laughs> common sense I suppose. Um, no, we need to climb up. Yeah, this is why it's bad that I didn't practice, but it'll be okay. Everything's just going to be fine. Um, I really do- Oh, I thought that was the end. I really do like all the elements that they put into the secret mission, though. It's like, I, I can't really assign a theme to it, but, I mean, there's tight ropes, there's platforms, I mean, like, I mean, like, what's the term for it? Slopes? There you go. Slopes. And just a lot of, like, maneuvering you gotta do now that you don't have flood and it's it's pretty cool i i've got to say i really do enjoy it although it is difficult to say the least um and one of the lengthier ones too if you look we've come a long way to get here but um speedrunners can get through this pretty quick me myself not so much um i was looking at my speedrun the other day actually of this game and I was not very impressed at all. I remembered myself, my speedruns being better than they were, <laughs> just like me playing this game. Um, yeah, it, it was okay. It wasn't bad, but I remembered it being better. 
But, oh well, like, I was watching myself play, and I just thought, I could have done that faster easily if I wanted to. Like, it wasn't a matter, I mean, a lot of it, obviously there's a lot of skill involved in what I was doing, because it was a lot of practicing and whatnot to do things as fast as I was and to get the glitches down. But there was times where I'm just thinking, okay, I kind of wasn't moving as fast as I could possibly have been, and that wasn't due to lack of skill, it was due to, like, lack of trying to be fast, I guess, which is kind of important in speedrunning, if you think about it, but nonetheless, Shine Sprite. All right, Nookie Bay, episode seven. Hold it, Shadow Mario. <laughs> Shocking. Shadow Mario appearing in episode seven. Who would have thought? Not me. Oh, well. Um, at least we might get some interesting dialogue out of it. Is that a relative of yours? Quite an odd family you've got. <laughs> um, thank you, I guess. I mean, oh, that reminds me, I should have talked to, um, the Noki earlier, which- You're swimming in water, where is the logic? What are you doing, Mario? Ugh, Shadow Mario, excuse me. Yeah, he actually gets up here really quick. So, he's a little bit more difficult, this one. There's a lot of just annoying little platforms you gotta go around to spray him. Just keep on spraying him, don't get too close, because, you know, if he runs into you, it's annoying. Or if you bump into him in the sky, that's also annoying. Well, I don't even know if you can do that. I just kind of imagine, like, well, I'm, I'm sure it can. Um... Please stop uh, m maneuvering. Like, okay, maneuvering is the right word, but I was saying something else like manure. <laughs> like, maneuvering is what I was about to say. So don't say maneuvering, because I guess that's a nice way of saying pooping. Anyways, Curry says, I won't forget this. <sighs> yeah, you got a lot of times of us catching you that you're just never gonna forget. Well, I'm not gonna forget this camera angle. Shine. All right, Noki Bay, episode eight, the red coin fish. And I love this simply because we get to go back to an area I really appreciate. Um, I misspoke a couple of episodes ago when we were taking out, or not taking out, well, some teeth we really did take out of Ely Mouth, but um, when we were dealing with that mission, I think I said that this is the only time we're gonna come in here for this one shine, but we're going back there to that little underwater cavern. We've been waiting for you, Mario. Grandpa's at the top as usual. Please wear this again, okay? You can use this rope as a shortcut to the top. I never addressed the fact that we're wearing a fishbowl right now. <laughs> that's, I mean, that's not really how air works. There's, there's no system that pumps us oxygen or converts our CO2 back to oxygen somehow. Like, there's, no, there's nothing that does that. It's just a fishbowl, but, oh well. I guess it kind of is okay. Baby Nokis again! Nice to meet you, Mr. Mario. Thank you so much for restoring our beautiful bay to purity. <laughs> I'm telling you, the Nokis are the purest little creatures that exist in the realm of Mario, especially in Super Mario Sunshine. I'm like, look at that baby Noki, it's so cute. <sighs> Man, I'm literally, my eyes are actually tearing up right now because of how cute those guys are. Okay, well, let's go see Grandpa, as we usually do, but I'm gonna be quiet because I haven't taken a moment to really appreciate the music of this area, which is one of my favorite aspects of Noki Bay, and I haven't even mentioned it. I don't really, at least I don't think I have, so I'm gonna be quiet for a second so you guys can stare at Mario's eyes that we never really get to look at, or his chin, and listen to Noki Baby's music. Okay, that's enough of that. <laughs> Sorry, I just, I mean, I just love the music of Noki Bay. It's so peaceful, it's so relaxing, and I think the reason why, like, I always go on and on about relaxing music is because, well, that's kind of what I really like. I really enjoy listening to, like, relaxing music. It kind of all stems back to high school. Um, I had a really, really stressful time during high school, my junior year there, and to kind of deal with the stress, I would listen to stuff that relaxed me, relaxing music, and I kind of escaped other places, like in games and stuff, and um, relaxing music really helped me, so it's kind of burned its way or found its way into my permanent music taste, if that makes any sense. Master Mario, our people have all come back at last. To show our thanks, we prepared a fine treasure for you. It lies in the ocean's floor, so please go there and claim it. So remember to watch your life meter. Okay, well, you say all the people have returned. Well, you've seen a couple so far. Are there any anywhere else? Um, I'm gonna go explore. I'll be right back. Nonetheless, we are gonna get on with the mission, of course, but I wanna go explore really quick, so I'll be back in just a moment. Go 
Well, first of all, we have a Tanuki down here, we, who we saw earlier, but we never talked to to the Tanuki, so. I owe you, Mario. Now, now my business is up and running again. Please use my boats for free anytime you desire, yes? I don't have any oars, though, so you have to use your flood. Okay. Very cool. Oh, I like the little water, like, you have a little water raft in your back. That's really cute. And your arms and your tails are, really, like, moving at the same time. It's, it's kind of cute. Um, let's see. There's probably some other Nokis around here. I want to read and see what the sign says. Mud boat rental. Nine, <laughs> 90,000 coins? Mud boats are fun. Come aboard. Who can afford that? 90,000 coins. It's a good thing we got them for free, because... There would be no no way we could afford this, which, by the way, if you want to practice moving around this boat, it will be useful for later in the game. Hint, 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 hint. Hint. Okay, to my knowledge, there is no one else to talk to here. At least, again, to my knowledge, I could be wrong, so we're just going to swim on over instead of diving on over. Oh. Oh, there's no keys that are down here? I didn't remember that. That seems really obvious now, and I never forgot that. Oh, and they're all floating around. How did I never notice? Okay, I'm sure I noticed it. I just don't remember it. Dude, Noki, I want to talk to you. Can I talk to you? Please come here. Oh, and no, I'm losing health. Maybe I'll try approaching this one. It'll be a little bit easier. Uh, no, I can't talk to him, but... Whoa, it's so cool seeing them down here. They're floating on jellyfish, it looks like. That's so cool. Anyways, the main thing we're going for right over here is this red coin fish. That has red coins inside of it. Yeah, I just got three red coins just by like running into it really, really quickly. Um, it'll eventually split up, and then the red coins will kind of disperse as, the as well as the regular coins. Um, you can get some when it's like this, because the coins will move rather slowly. It might even be easier for you to get it this way, but eventually they will all come back together to form the image of a fish, or at least the partial image of a fish after you run into it a time or two. Um, and you'll be able to get the red coins again. I recommend holding your analog stick forward to get some extra momentum so you can run into it and get some more coins. Um, but all three, the, uh, the remaining three are right here, so let's see if I can angle this correctly before it splits off. No. Uh, voice crack. No. Um, let's go over here and talk to the Nokis really quick. If I, if I may, please let me talk to you. Please let me speak with you. I just want to converse with someone underwater. I guess I wouldn't be able to. No, I think I'd probably hear me through the muffling of my fishbowl. But that's really cool. They're riding on jellyfish and sitting around. I've never, that's, this is an aspect like, I, see, this is the thing. This is a very obvious thing right here. But I've blown through this game almost every time I played it, at least since I was like of decent age to remember, because I played this game when I was really little. And this is something that I, I just didn't remember. He's fish he's sleeping on a jellyfish. That is really cool. Like, I'm sorry, but that's just really awesome, and I'm ashamed of myself for not taking the time to notice these kind of details that are seemingly and really are extremely obvious. Okay, can you please let go of me, cheap cheap? I kind of need coins to survive. Okay, let's just run into some, okay, there you go. Which, by the way, I could be wrong, but I believe that right there when I get that red coin, it replenished my health. Um, I'll see you guys back here in just a moment when I get another red coin so I can verify if that's factual or not. Okay, yeah, it does replenish all of your health, so that's good. Uh, red coins are good for replenishing your life, and oh no, I'm gonna, whoa, that red coin just like absolutely flew, flew away. Okay, I'm gonna go chase after it, even though it's probably counterproductive. Yep, very counterproductive. Which, by the way, you can quickly change your angle. It's kind of hard to steer. Um, with this, you can quickly change your angle by going into first person with Y, or sim not first person, but I guess like, just changing that camera angle like that. It'll help you, um, it'll help you turn very quickly. This last red coin can be kind of difficult for you to get. <laughs> Wait, thank you. Wow, that was really ridiculous. Ah, uh, man, this is so relaxed. I'm gonna be quiet. Wait. No, the music is definitely different down here. I'm gonna be quiet for just a second so you guys can listen to this music. Go ahead and get the shine sprite into this very, very, very beautiful world. Uh, just kidding. We'll be back here in the next episode. Actually, hold up. How long is this video? I've been recording for 17 minutes. Do I want to keep it short? Or do I want to fit another shine sprite in? Well, I might do one of the secret missions. Let me go ahead and see what that, which secret missions I can do really quick. I'll see you guys back here in just a moment. 
Yeah, I'm looking at it right now, and we could go to episode 6 and take on the red coins of the Shell Seeker, but I kind of don't want to do that. I think I'll just end things off here, because this is a good time length, and I don't know, it just mentally feels better doing the two extra shines in the next episode, along with the 100 coins. So, next time on Let's Play, some more Sunshine, we're going back to Noki Bay, we're going to be taking on the 100 coins, uh, the two secret shines, and then the episode after that we'll do the blue coins, but no blue coins for the next episode, so... Thank you guys for watching. I've been Kimrani, and I'll see you guys back here as soon as I get through this dialogue. <laughs> because I want to listen to pretty music and not this next time. Goodbye, guys. Oh, wait, wait, wait. And also, let me give you guys a quick, like, a cute camera angle of this baby. Okay. Goodbye, guys.